Hi, welcome to Canada CPA Online Academy sharing the wisdom. I upload CFE preparation videos every week. So if you are new here, don't forget to like, subscribe the channel. And for better clarity of the video, please select the display setting to 1080 pixels so that it's the, the display is clearer. Okay, so today we are discussing a different topic. It is related to uh, assurance AOs, but it helps in a way to better organize your day too. So how to track the financial reporting adjustments, the uh, adjustment journal entries for day two CP. So that is what we are going to discuss. Now, uh, you will see that day two typically has five to six financial reporting AOs and then there will be adjustments that would be affecting either your PNL or assets or liabilities that you will have to uh, uh, ex explain after solving the AO. Now these adjustments are very important to track in an effective manner so that you can use it in the other AOs. Like some, some have uh, effects on calculation of other AOs. Like for example, this is the format that I used to follow while writing the C fee to track my financial reporting adjustment journal entries. Now, what this format does is it helps to keep everything organized together and it's, it's um, quick to refer back to it and easy for the marker to understand. Now, what we are capturing here is first, the purpose of the exhibit, so it's adjustment journal entries, and then you're writing down the number, you're writing down the journal entry for the adjustment. So suppose if there is R&D um, expenditure and uh, there is some expense that they have capitalized, but it is not correct because it is training expense. So you have to um, uh, expense it out and they have wrongly capitalized it to PP. So whatever, whatever the journal entry is coming out of that financial reporting adjustment, you're writing that journal entry there, give the debit credit, give a brief description of what that journal entry is for. And then in the same exhibit, try to capture the impact that journal entry is creating. So now see if you see the first journal entry, you will see that it is training training expenses are debited so that means the profit and loss impact would be like the profit would go down by two, 298000 and then um, the other impact is on uh, asset side so asset will also go down by uh, the same amount now sometimes there could be an impact on liabilities so asset retirement ob ob uh, obligations you are you are making a provision so liabilities would go up there, there could be sometimes impact on current assets or current liabilities like there is some revenue recognition adjustments you are deferring the revenue or uh, making some provisions so based on that track these uh, effects the impact whether it is plus or minus in these in these columns along with the journal entry so say uh, second adjustment was prepaid expenses they have debited to insurance account so you're uh, it's, it's a rectification type of entry so you're debiting the prepaid expense and then crediting the insurance account now this is going to impact your p and uh, total assets and current assets as well now why is it important to track it this way it is because in the later uh, audit AOs, see you are going to need this adjusted profit and loss for your materiality calculation. So you start with the profit and loss as per given balance sheet. Then you adjust all the adjustments as from the financial reporting AOs. Then you arrive at your net adjusted profit and loss account and that you use as your materiality calculation base. So it is important to track it in an effective way. Now, sometimes you have uh, covenant calculations. For that covenant calculations, you need uh, to calculate say debt equity ratio. So for that, you need the total assets. You need uh, the liability, uh, uh, account, uh, liability 
amount so in the in in different calculations you need different adjustments and then the given figures from the balance sheet are changing because of the financial reporting adjustment you have to calculate say current ratio for uh, some covenant then uh, in that case you will need the current asset and current liability so in an effective manner, if you track it in one exhibit, it becomes easier to access and easier to incorporate the figures and it's easier for the marker to follow your thought process as well. So try to track this efficiently in, in one place. So when you when you're reading the day two case, you will know that which which adjustment entries will have impact on what and what you need to track. So here I have given example of everything. So maybe in a case you don't need everything. You just most of the times you need the profit and loss adjustment uh, uh, impact. So that is for sure. Then based on the case facts, sometimes you will need to track the current assets. Sometimes you might need to track specific uh, receivables, inventory, depending on the other rails. So once you give a, a full read uh, and then you have identified the assessment objectives, you will know what you will need to track. So set up this uh, exhibit to serve that purpose based on thinking about all the uh, AOs that, that would get affected by these financial reporting adjustments. So hope this, uh, this would help you to, uh, to better organize the day to uh, adjustment journal entries. Now this uh, will impact the materiality calculation. So be sure to check out the materiality, uh, uh, materiality video uh, that i have discussed in the audit assurance uh, day two series okay thank you bye until then